uh, what we're doing here is we got rid of two beds. Uh, see that one here? There was one here and one here. Uh, we got rid of it and we spread out the dirt. What we're going to be doing is, and I'll show you when we're done, is the barrels there, the IBCs there. We are going to be lining them up over here for now on this side, filling them with water, and this way is south, just so you know. We're in the northern hemisphere, so our sun's in the south for all you people down under. And cover them with some black plastic. And what's going to happen is the sun is going to radiate heat the water up since the black will help. Then at night it'll radiate the heat out. So it'll just be like some uh, free heat for us. So we did that last summer with these barrels. But since we got some extra of these, we're going to use those for now. And we're going to try to stack as many as we can over here. Leave just a little open area here. In case I start to build a big aquaponics system, I have one bed I can build so I can transfer the water into so we don't waste any water. As soon as we get these set up, I'll show you that's it. What okay, we're doing. Everybody, this is what is, we're taking this bed apart too. You can kind of see halfway through what it's like. Uh, you can see how high the dirt we're starting to lower it down and fill some in the wheelbarrow and fill some low spots up and spreading it out all over here because we'll be tamping it down. We got top end boards off. We got the top board here. And then once we get more dirt out, we'll be able to, because it's screwed from the inside. So then we'll be able to unscrew it and get the boards and smooth it all out. That'll just show you about halfway through the work. I'll show you my wife working too, but if I get her on video, she'd hurt me real hard. So we won't get her on video. Okay, here it is. We got it done. See, now the bed's out. And we're going to start moving these over here now. I'll get you to look from the other side. <laughs> this last bed here, I have a wheelbarrow. There it is there. It's nine cubic feet. And this last one here was, yeah, 16 wheelbarrows, nine cubic feet each. So it kind of tells you how much work we had to do. So glad it's done. These two by fours sticking out of the ground are little just spikes. You can see water spigots coming out because each bed that we had here had its a water line on some drippers. And the last one down there is, I was like, oh, I'll cap them and later after I get done and everything. But yeah, my big old size 12 kicked it. We had Old Faithful for a while. So yeah, cap them first, cut them down, cap them. <laughs> so that's a bit of advice. So that's us right here. After we get some of these IBCs in here and film them up, I'll film it again. But you can see it right there. Okay, everybody, I'm starting to film up now. Let me back up so you can see. See the tanks right here, and I'll walk around. <laughs> Excuse me, we got eight tanks right here. We're gonna get two more. And these are the 275s. So now you can kind of see what we were talking about is we are gonna cover them with a roll of black plastic, and that will help absorb the heat during the day and radiate it at night. Last year we had a bunch of 55 gallon drones doing that with trash bags over the top and it kept the greenhouse 10 degrees warmer now just the greenhouse kept it about 10 degrees warmer than outside and with the barrels it was 10 degrees plus that so without heating it the greenhouse we get 20 extra degrees of heat which is usually good enough to get us above the freezing so we don't have to pay for much heat during the winter so and I'll go back here a little bit so you can see You can see in relation to the stuff up there. And the wife is hiding behind the tree. If I get her, you'd see a fist coming this way in 3D. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.